The Millennium Villages Project is a collaboration between the Earth Institute at Columbia University, the United Nations Development Program, an NGO called Millennium Promise, and local governments in 10 different countries. The goal of the Millennium Villages Project is to lift the poorest of the poor out of extreme poverty. And we are doing this to um, strengthen health systems and to address the Millennium Development Goals. So why did we develop the Millennium Global Village Network? So since we're working in 10 different countries, there are particular problems associated with such a program. We have different languages, we have different levels of training, we have different kinds of regulations associated with policies or guidelines of each of the ministries of health. So we needed a system that was adaptable enough and that would interoperate in all these different kinds of places. And so for that reason, we actually selected two different open source projects. One called OpenMRS, which is an electronic medical record system, and the other one, Child Count Plus, which is actually based upon the rapid SMS system I mentioned earlier. So these two systems work together to capture data in different languages and in different countries, and yet do it in a way that that information can be combined and compared and shared with one another. So the hope is that the Millennium Villages Project will be able to use this information to find out what's working and what's not working, and help improve the health systems of these countries to help them achieve the Millennium Development Goals. To strengthen health information systems, we actually have to look at the entire health system from the community up to the clinics, to those referral hospitals, all the way up to the Ministry of Health. And so what the Millennium Global Village Network, or we call it MGVNet, is trying to do is actually empower the community health workers who are visiting homes on a daily basis to collect data through mobile devices, which are of course uh, growing in number throughout Africa, have that information seamlessly transferred to the medical record system in the clinics. So we're actually capturing data all the way from the community up to the clinics, to the referral hospitals, and ultimately to the Ministry of Health. So one of the important outcomes of this particular project is that we will be creating a common concept-based data dictionary across all of the different sites and from all the different countries. So what this means is that regardless of the language that's used in the country, whether it's French in Rwanda or English in uh, Kenya, that the information that's being collected in each of the sites will be interoperable. And that means that the data will be comparable between sites and can be aggregated together for looking at what's working and what's not working. We are very grateful for all the help that we've had to build the system so far. We, in addition to the partners that we've, I've already mentioned, such as the Rockefeller Foundation and IDRC, we're working very closely with Ericsson and the Novartis uh, Fund for Sustainable uh, Development, and that we're really standing on the shoulders of many uh, open source developers and community members who have been contributing their time and their effort, often on a volunteer basis, to help us build this system. I should mention that this Millennium Global Village Network and Child Count was developed here in Africa by Africans, and we hope that it's really going to spread throughout not just Africa, but throughout the, uh, the, the world. So we're very excited about the opportunity here, and we think that if this project goes as we expect, that over the next several months, we hopefully will have a very uh, exciting multinational, multilingual uh, health information system that will capture data all the way from the community health workers all the way up through the clinics.